So, the parts of self, mainly right now I'm thinking about childhood and all the things that were in my life when I was a child. My toys, my books, the people, my other house that I lived in. All sorts of stuff. The things that made me happy. And honestly, they're still around me today. I didn't get rid of much. You know, I held on to pretty much everything. You know, all the things that mattered the most. I still have my childhood toys. I still have my Beanie Babies. Um, I have my books. I have my video games. I have some of the same um, joys of types of food and drink, you know. And... It's really nice to feel that inside of me, like, when I feel that joy inside of me. The same joy that I used to have as a child with the added effect of nostalgia, you know. Um, like, if, if I was at the store or at a place and all of a sudden I saw Dunkaroos, I'd be like, oh man, Dunkaroos, Dunkaroos. I love Dunkaroos. And then, like, uh, gumballs, like every time I walk by a gumball machine, there's this part of me inside that just gets so excited. Gumball! You know? Just the happiest thing. So that's the kind of thing I'm talking about. Like, And then, and then I plan on, if I ever have a child, you know, I can share these things with my child. And that's where this is headed, is the deep-rooted parts of self. Um... I grew up in Rocky Hill, Connecticut, and I still live there. You know, I still live here in Rocky Hill. I've taken some tours elsewhere, uh, other towns. I lived in Eugene, Oregon for almost a year, and I always return here. That's what I've learned. Even if I thought I was going to actually live somewhere else indefinitely, I always end up coming back, and I've learned that I will always return here. That's what I believe, and that's what I want at this point, because there's no other place on this planet that I lived since birth, that I know as well, you know what I mean? I lived here since birth, and that's true, and there's no other place where I lived since birth. And um, there's no other place that I know as well as Rocky Hill, and there's no other place that I'm accepted as much as I am accepted in Rocky Hill, in every public place, in certain residences of people who I'm acquainted with, or friends with, or, you know, comfortable with, parties, get-togethers, holidays, gatherings... I feel so at home here and so comfortable here. It's nice to go elsewhere, but what I want for a child of mine, if there is one in the future, I want them to be able to walk around Rocky Hill with me and feel that they are a part of this life that I've been living, where I'm accepted everywhere, and I've been accepted everywhere now 28 years. So my child will feel that comfort. We've been in Rocky Hill. I've been in Rocky Hill for 28 years. I have 28 years of acceptedness and comfort in this place already, and my child will walk around this place, and they will feel that same comfort, but not only that, they will have their own experience too, based on their uniqueness. So that's a gift I would like to give my child. And, you know, that's common in cities and everything, but it's nice to actually touch on that. Um, one of the deeper-rooted parts of experience, you know. So, ah... <sighs> Just thinking about having a child is really intense. We'll see. But yeah, I like, I like being home. And the other part of it that really speaks to me is the whole family aspect and how things change when a member of the family leaves. And you might think that it's like, in your mind, it's like, okay, I'm this age, it's time for me to go. You know what I mean? It's time for me to go have my life where I want to have my life. And this is how I see it. If I was to leave this house, then nobody would be here to do the things that I do, which would create stress and pressure on the people who live here. And they would have to reorganize and resort their priorities to meet the needs. So not only is Rocky Hill the place that accepts me, but I'm also integral to the functionality of this place. If this house isn't functioning this way, and it changes and my duties are not fulfilled, then there's no, there's no way that what's around this house can function the same either. 
if my mother is not capable of going out and doing the things that she would normally do because she has extra duties at the home that affects the town. So when the people leave Rocky Hill and they go to these other places, I notice. And it's deeply rooted. And hopefully they know inside that this is their home because I love having them here. Um, it changes everything to see the smiling faces of my acquaintances and my peers here, my old friends, my homies, they say, the people at home. So when I was in Eugene, I was new to Eugene, Oregon. I did not feel like I was fully accepted there because I was not from there. But right when I got back to Rocky Hill, it was right back into my groove. The coffee house, the park, driving around, just cruising around Rocky Hill, seeing all the beautiful sights down by the river. There's the ferry, there's the walking trails at the quarry. There's all sorts of stuff. It's really great. So what is that to you? Um, what is the difference here? We go into the world because we believe that in our minds and maybe even in our hearts that going into the world and experiencing this job and this apartment or house and this, maybe you have financial freedom and you're just in another place. How does that affect the lives around you at home? What is missing now? How is it different when your heart is not in that home? What's more important, going to these places and having these experiences or giving your family love directly up front at home over the long term, being a part of the house? I would love to have a child that sees this house, that lives in this house that I grew up in, around my mother. I don't have the desire to be separated from my family, to have my own place where my mother is not there. I love my mother, and I want to be around her. I want my child to experience their grandmother on a regular basis. I don't think leaving and getting my own house is of the utmost importance, because this house just happens to be huge. So that's not a problem. Size of house, not a problem. So what other reason do I have? What other reason do I have? We get along, me and my mother. We cooperate. We have almost no disagreements, you know. And anything that's a problem is something I'm actively trying to work out at all times. And it's I'm making good progress. So, what is your home? How deep is the experience of your home with the people around you? And what's it like when you're there and not there? Are you simply on a detour? Are you simply on a tour elsewhere? Are you going to return home? Do you want to experience the Rocky Hill that I want to experience? You know, the 28 years of depth and experience and memories. And do you want to see your child run around the same park that you ran around? And how are things going to change over time? Because I want to be the old, old, old man who's been in Rocky Hill for 100 years. You know, I would love to be that. But I will travel the world. I'll take a trip for a year, you know, but I'll make sure that everything's right before I go. Plan ahead. So, yeah, think about what you're rooted in. Think about what matters. And if these small things in your head are more important than what's in your heart. Love you.